We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Minneapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down and a lot. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and more than the QB would like. One speed engaged. What are you trying to place yet? His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. I'm a high-scaled shiver. I am a hell of a shiver. Third down and, well, good luck. He dropped it, and he 
does that again, they'll drop him. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice cap, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt for Powell with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down and long. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Third down and long. Tired of the quarterback, tight spirals, and magnetic personality. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! Third down and... Defense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Oh, nice hit. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. to drop the ball if you're still alive. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. First down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Oh, gang, man, I can't. Come on, I got the 
get him out. Get him out. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and six. Teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and it's first and ten. It's a sticky ball. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback could be hurting or dead. Second down in a very lot. Third down in forever. Oh man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I'm gonna take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. You gotta keep him guessing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First and four. Yeah. 
No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. See that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. And it's first and ten. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of it. And he's off to the races. You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. First and ten. Second down in a lot. Roid rage, because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and, well, good luck. And so, that's the two-minute warning. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Man, what a hit that was. Yo, man, nobody can touch with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. And he punches. Oh, with a brutal hit. 
Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. He's like a monkey trying to get a hard run there, picks up the first down. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, like a high school! Hey, man, I'm scared of what's shimmel! I am a hell of a fellow! And here comes the extra point attempt. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the coast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Wrestling? And it's first and ten. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And they call it ginormous. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. The defense, can, he could go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. 
No one was gonna... I'm not saying the rap has been rocked, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. down an inch it's a jailbreak and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref oh crowd's loving it first down and nine Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And that'll be second down and four. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grand Potato. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. Nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy's like a 
human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. He dropped the jabots. Second down and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. The ten. Touchdown. Man, look at him dance. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that pass is good for about five yards. Third down and eight. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And it's first and ten. the line and he gets his bell run for a yard second down and nine he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way and it's first and ten Second down in a very lot. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun in it. Just... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. 
and with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. See that, boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do? Run. The offense. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Rage would win. points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, uh, seriously, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. I'll wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Holds him to a four yard pick up there. Second down and six. second there boring but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio and the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick the only thing the QB can do now is run for his life or die And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense schmuck. Second down and ten. The defenders one feet just kicked in. He's so fast, 
kick it right Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Looks like he does have some turkey skin wrapping on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. Third down and nine. And then to first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. First and two. Playing some D. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Eh, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Many... And he held on to that one for a first down. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self -dying. But he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. 
Allen. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And it's first and ten. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Second down and five. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. lot of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And like bricks and bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. The Purple Mutant Eaters are nothing but blue today, taking a home loss. Uh, does that mean they'll eat a different color? Am I sent to ask them for autographs, Grim? What color eats what, Grim? The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. Yeah, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you...